Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to have an exposure to working with worksheets inside Excel VBA. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn here. All right, I'm inside Excel VBA. And so I have my developer off to the right and I have my screen here off to the left because we're going to be doing things back and forth in these two uh, screens, if you will. And what we're going to do here first is I'm going to talk you through the code that's in the upper right hand corner of my screen here inside my developer and try to explain to you what's going on here. When we're talking about worksheets inside uh, Excel, we're talking about these tabs basically down here at the bottom of the screen here, sheet one, sheet two. That's the simplest way to kind of think about it. And so, of course, if I want to go from sheet one to sheet three, I just click on it. <clears throat> but there are ways to allow VBA to move between sheets to grab information inside a sheet for various purposes uh, automatically so that you don't have to do it manually. And so those are some of the things that we're going to talk about. Now, in this first example right here at the top, um, basically all we're going to do is we're going to make some message boxes that do various things for you. So worksheets dot count here is just going to count how many worksheets you have. In our second line here, you can see this right here worksheets inside parentheses two dot name is going to give you the name of the second worksheet and the last piece of code here active sheet dot name is going to give you the name of the sheet that your that Excel is on at that particular moment so if I just run these this is just for experimental purposes but if I press F8 you can see right here it tells me I have seven worksheets, which you can see that at the bottom, it goes from sheet one to sheet seven. Press enter, move to the next one. It tells me the name of the second worksheet is sheet two. That's normal as well. And then press F8 one last time. And the active worksheet is sheet one. In other words, that is the sheet that my, ver that my particular copy of Microsoft Excel is on. Very simple, not that complicated by any means. Now for our second one, we're just going to show you how you can name a variable here. So if I had to change some things out here, I would delete this and show you something real quick. Now, right here in our second example, if you will, all we did was is we're, we're reusing the name of our subroutine here because that's not the significant part of the video. And so we dimmed a string called sheet name that's a string that's what we're doing here and then inside sheet name we're going to name it we're going to save whatever the active sheet is the name of that sheet so right now I'm active on sheet number one and so when I display my message box it's just going to give me the same information that I just told you so sheet one so you can even save this stuff inside you know different variables once you dim them as an example all right moving to our next example here what we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to rename different sheets. And of course, this is another useful tool that may come in handy for whatever purposes you may have. For example, you know, if, if you're editing something or whatever. So sheet uh, sheets dot add. And then once we finish typing this up, you'll see how interesting this can be. All right. Now this piece of code is not that complicated, but there are two things that are going to be going on in this example. In this first line right here, we are going to create a new worksheet. And you do that sheets.add space after colon equal active sheet. So after the active sheet is going to add a new sheet. So right now, I'm just going to put myself on sheet one. And what's going to happen is this. When we run this code, it is going to insert a sheet after sheet number one. That is what's going to happen. Now, in code right here in line number three, we're going to rename our active sheet to new name. So if everything goes according to plan, we're going to rename our active sheet. So what I'll do is I'm going to start on sheet two actually. And so um, it's going to rename the active sheet to new name and then worksheet number one, wherever that's at, sheet number one, if you will, it's going to rename that to old name. That's what's going to happen here. So let's run this and see what happens. Take it nice and slow. Press F8 to kind of bugger our way through it. So new sheet after the active sheet. So if you're looking off 
to the uh, left corner here, you can see that the new sheet appeared. I'm gonna do this again so that we can make sure we're paying attention. So if you wanna see the new sheet created, you need to look at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. I'm going to cancel this and we're going to do this a second time. All right, so I'm gonna start it up. Make sure you keep your eyes closely down here. A new sheet will be formed after sheet two. So I press F8 to start it. One more time, make sure your eyes are on the lower left-hand corner of the screen and you should have saw something called sheet 10 appear. That's what's going to be there. And so now sheet 10 is the active worksheet, so the name should be changed. You can see now it's called new name. Hope you're still looking at the lower left-hand corner of your screen. And of course, worksheet number one, or, or sheet number one, is name should be changed to old name. All right, if you were looking, you would have saw that down here in the lower left-hand corner right here. So it looks like this subroutine is working quite well. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to learn a little bit about dealing with ranges and, and things of that purpose. So I'm going to start writing in my code here, seeing what we can learn and enjoy this. So message box. With this particular example, what's going to happen here is that Microsoft Excel VBA is going to go into sheet two and it's going to pull the data in the range of A1. So A1 is right here. I'm pulling the number one, two, three, four and it's going to print this inside a message box. So the purpose of this example is to show you how VBA is able to go into various worksheets inside your particular file and find things and print or share them or move them somewhere else, whatever. So this is a very simple short example. Let's just go ahead and run this. Press F8 one more time. And then you can see how the same number that is in our worksheet is also appearing inside the message box. And that is what we're trying to demonstrate here. Now we have one more example before we conclude. And this one's a little bit more complicated, but again, it's, it's not that amazing. And I'm sure we'll be able to follow and understand this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the code here so that we can see what we can learn. Now, in this final example that we're looking at here, what we're going to be doing here is this. In this first line, we're going to activate sheet number six. So we're gonna move there. Then when we are inside sheet number six, we're going to take some information from cell A1. We're gonna take that, we're gonna select it first, excuse me, and then we're going to, of course, copy it. After that, we're going to activate sheet number four and we're going, to, we're going to paste whatever it is we take from sheet number six, we're going to paste it into C5 inside sheet number four. That's how this is going to work. So if I go back up to the top and I start going through my code, so first thing we're gonna to move to sheet six, you can see that with your own eyes. Now what's gonna happen is, is that it's going to select A1, which is by default, but you can see the point there. Now we're going to copy this. So you can see how there's little dancing uh, lines going around A1, indicating that it's copied. Now we're going to move to sheet four. You can see that it moved to sheet four and we're going to paste this into C5. So I press F8 one more time and you can see our information is pasted into C5. And so again, that's an example of how you can pull and move things around or copy and paste things using code without any clicking, clicking and pasting or anything of that nature. So let's see if we can review what we talked about and wrap up this video. So in this particular video, we were learning about how you can manipulate and control worksheets using code inside VBA uh, for Excel. And so we learned about things like how to use count, how to find the name of various worksheets, how to determine how many worksheets you have, how to activate a worksheet, to select, how to rename worksheets, how to take information from one worksheet to the other, how to uh, pull information from one worksheet and display it inside a message box. These are all some of the basic ideas that we talked about. So when it's time to actually begin coding and doing more advanced ideas inside VBA, these are some of the tools that you will need in order to have success. So, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you for watching and take care.